hey guys welcome to this video i know it's been a minute i wanted to make a part two of the social media video that i made like two years ago if i knew that many people were gonna watch my video i would have added way more things to that video um <laughs> when i made that video i honestly didn't think anybody was gonna watch it like I'm a very introspective person so whenever I go through an experience I'm always like taking notes on my phone of what I learned so one day I just thought to myself like let me make this a video I honestly didn't think anybody was gonna watch it so <laughs> so it is so crazy to me that so many people resonated with that video um and like felt the same way about social media that I was feeling and it's interesting because like a lot of the sentiments that I shared in that video, a lot of people on TikTok have been saying the same thing, specifically about Instagram, like the way that Instagram makes them feel and just in general, a lot of the things I was saying, a lot of people have been saying the same thing. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. So I wanted to make a part two of that video. Um, but in my first video, I think, I think I said something about how I will never make a personal social media account or like a personal instagram account ever again and by that i meant that i will never have an account where i'm like posting on my personal business and like my family and my relationship and just like personal stuff about me because my like my first instagram account honestly you could probably find out where i lived because it was just so personal like you could figure out the school i went to my family just like everything about me that's kind of what i meant but because obviously like i am on social media like in the comments some people were saying like pointing out like oh like but you're still on social media um i think there's a difference between like having a personal account and creating content and i'm way more interested in creating content about like fitness and girl talks and all of that stuff versus like my other account was personal like i wasn't creating content i was just sharing my life but yeah i think the way that i use social media is a lot more healthy now the biggest thing that i've learned from deleting my social media and then getting it back is like you lose the need to post things all the time and to tell people what you're doing 24 7. like i don't know i just like lost that desire to be posting what I'm doing all the time like when I go out when I go out it's just like I'm having fun like I just I feel like when you go such a long period of time without it and then you get it back it feels so weird to then be updating people and telling people what you're doing because it's like you just don't care I don't know I just think privacy is everything I like content creation and I love watching content creator creators but that's about it one big thing that I noticed when I deleted my social media is that like when you delete like when I deleted it I just wasn't as stimulated all the time and I genuinely enjoyed being still like I would wake up and there was nothing to do on my phone or like before going to bed there was just like nothing to do on my phone I feel like I just became very mindful and appreciated just peace and having nothing to do like i genuinely would enjoy just like sitting down and doing nothing <laughs> or like eating food and doing nothing like eating my dinner doing nothing and my mind was finally able to just like think on its own rather than think about whatever i'm looking at another big thing is like i just don't care about numbers anymore i don't care if i follow more people than i have followers or like likes on a picture i mean like when it comes to youtube i do care about numbers because obviously like if I get likes on a video, that means people like the video. And if you get views on a video, it means like people enjoy that, the, like the video that you made. But other than YouTube, like when it comes to like Instagram, I genuinely just don't care about like numbers and like who's watching my story. I think that when you go a long period of time without it and then you get it back, you realize that it's just not that serious. Like all of these little things are just so trivial and it's just not that deep. And it was interesting. I especially noticed this when I studied abroad in France because students from countries other than Canada, the US, and Australia didn't care about social media. Like it was mainly only the American, Canadian, Australian students who were like posting all the time and like who cared about numbers and stuff. But people from, the students from other countries like honestly didn't care. And like the way that they used their social media during the exchange was so interesting in comparison to us. And honestly like now it's like, I just wanna follow people who post nice content and like have nice style like girls like tira walker and Lori harvey like i just want to look at nice pictures in my opinion i think it's kind of weird like to go to a party and then to follow someone 
and you're never gonna see them ever again in your life i think it's weird to stay in contact with people that you met once you talk to for like four minutes at a party and you're never gonna see them again i just think it's weird to follow them for the rest of my life like i only want to follow people who are my friends or who post like nice pictures and when you go like a long period without it and then you get it back you realize how weird it is to follow people that you haven't talked to in years and that you don't actually really care about what they're doing like my friend and i we always say like it's not normal to keep in contact with so many people from your past and honestly in my opinion i think that you if you go a decent amount of time without it you won't even want to get it back and if you do get it back you'll use it so differently like i think you'll use it more intentionally and you'll post less personal things and you just won't care as much about trivial things like numbers and likes and comments and like who's following who and all of that stuff where if someone doesn't follow you back like you realize it's not that deep also one thing that i really liked about going a year without it and then getting it back and like making completely new accounts it honestly feels like i have a new identity and just like a completely fresh start and i've created like a new life because i'm not following people that i haven't talked to in years like the only people who follow me or that i follow that i'm actually friends with and people that i actually talk to like people who are in this current season of my life those are the only people people that I'm really following and like when people meet me they don't know anything about me because there's nothing to see <laughs> the only way they can find stuff about me is if they ask me personally or, or if I tell them that's just like one thing that I've noticed is I honestly feel like I've been able to just reset my life in a way and I have like a fresh new start with just new people that are relevant to my life and I think like a big 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 thing that I got used to from deleting my social media was like no longer having that desire or like that need for external validation and for compliments and for people to call you pretty because obviously like when you post a picture people are like complimenting you and hyping you up um but like once you delete it like you don't have that anymore unless like you go outside but you don't have that like immediate external validation um that you would get when you like post a story or like post pictures so i honestly like had to learn to just validate myself and lose that desire for people around me to make me feel good like i had to learn to make myself feel good on my own and compliment myself and feel pretty without people telling me that i'm pretty you know so yeah that's pretty much everything else that i wanted to say if I knew so many people were going to watch the first video, I would have put this in the first video. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're still watching, thank you so much and have a good day.